So reportedly Kyrie Irving is willing to commit to the Spurs long term. But as you guys remember a while back, reportedly Kyrie Irving was not willing to commit to any team that the Cavs were going to trade him to. But now Kyrie Irving is reportedly willing to commit to the Spurs long term. Isn't Kyrie Irving being a hypocrite? Because at the same time, the Spurs are Kawhi Leonard's team. Kyrie Irving joining the Spurs is just like him playing with LeBron all over again. Because Kawhi Leonard is the man on the Spurs, Kyrie Irving would have to play second to Kawhi Leonard. So if Kyrie Irving wants to leave LeBron so he can be his own man, if he's willing to commit to the Spurs long term, He's back to playing like he was with LeBron James again. He's the second option. It's not that he doesn't want to play with LeBron James because he wants to be the man or because he wants his own team. He just doesn't want to play with LeBron James himself because playing with Kawhi Leonard is just like playing with LeBron all over again. He's the man on that team. Harry Evans is going to be the second option. It's just going to be like the Cavs all over again. So let me ask you guys a question. Why hasn't Russell Westbrook re-signed with the Thunder? What's taking Russell Westbrook so long? Because I'm thinking that Russell Westbrook should have re-signed with the Thunder already. So right now the word is, is that the Thunder already offered Russell Westbrook a contract, but Russell Westbrook hasn't signed it yet. What's taking Russell Westbrook so long? Now this is interesting because obviously the Thunder offered Russell Westbrook a max contract. Russell Westbrook is due a lot of money. He's probably going to get the most expensive NBA contract signing of all time. It's most likely gonna be James Harden's 228 million that he got paid to resign with the Rockets. Of course, Paul George is now on the Thunder. And I'm thinking that maybe Paul George is looking at Russell Westbrook taking his time to resign with the Thunder. And he's probably thinking, like, hey, Russell Westbrook, what's taking so long? What's the hold up? You not wanna play together? Like, because for Paul George to have confidence in Russell Westbrook, that Russell Westbrook is committed to the Thunder. Because Paul George, once he becomes a free agent, I mean, he can leave and join any team hopefully he doesn't join the warriors hopefully he joins lebron james and the Cavs. if lebron james is still on the Cavs, that is but what i'm thinking is maybe russell westbrook is taking his time to sign this contract because maybe he wants to sign until the 2018 nba season so him and paul george can leave and join the lakers maybe that's their thinking maybe that's russell westbrook's thinking but i think that russell westbrook is too loyal to the thunder i think that russell westbrook will resign but remember guys the word is that russell westbrook is due 235 million over the next six years so that means that russell westbrook would have to sign with the thunder for the next six years and also when paul george is a free agent and he resigns with the thunder is he gonna be willing to stay with russell westbrook for the next six years to get to the finals or even get the chance to win a ring i really don't know i'm thinking that russell westbrook should have been signed this contract so that paul george can know that hey russell westbrook is committed i mean eventually he's gonna re-sign it by him taking his time might give paul george time to think like you know what let me just leave after this season but tell me what you guys think in the comment section what's taking russell westbrook so long why hasn't russell westbrook re-signed with the thunder yet